Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Hello, everyone. This is Charles S. Scott with What's Happening Birmingham today. Got the honor and pleasure. These two ladies know me very well. Um, they know me very well. I start off by saying that one with the high school with me and one with the church with me. So, Evan and Desandra, how are you all today? We are well. How are you? Yes. How Great. are you? Great. So, one of the reasons other than just catching up with old friends, I would love, to, I want to be one of the first people to interview them about their upcoming event. It's coming up on July the 1st called Arts and Cocktails in the City. And it's presented by Harlem Art Gallery and Lounge. So ladies, kind of tell me what was your concept with coming up with this event? All right, so yes, this is the first event presented by Harlem Art Gallery and Lounge and also Fancy Tail. So let's not forget that part because <laughs> Fancy Tail is actually the actually the um, cocktails of the yes, arts and cocktails. The cocktails of the arts and cocktails. Yeah. And so what I thought would be good is that we would um, do our first event um, promoting artists from the Birmingham area as well as around the surrounding area. And also in doing, you know, in doing so, offering an intimate and sophisticated, sexy, op you know, an opportunity to just kind of, uh, you know, sit and socialize in a chilled and vibrant atmosphere. And, you know, what more way can we enjoy, you know, doing things like that with, you know, also sipping on like a signature cocktail. So you want to tell us <laughs> more about cocktails? Yes, so, the so the cocktails are handcrafted cocktails, um, but, you know, something to make you feel good, something that love is put into and very intentional behind um fancy tales was birthed out of covid um because we couldn't go anywhere so one thing that i started doing was i started making my own happy hour at home my daughter ended up with covid so i started dehydrating fruit um getting into other things and out of that fancy temple was birthed so um it's very good to be able to share that with other people Okay, so well, this has been done actually, I guess let's do a plug for the venue, Polaris. It's a new venue yeah. out in Woodlawn, correct? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, so um, this is where the first event will be um, at. Um, I don't want everybody to get confused with thinking like this is the, loca the location of Harlem Art Gallery. So it is not the location of Harlem Art Gal Gallery, this is actually the venue. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the venue that we are using for this event. Okay. So, who are some of the artists you can tell me that's, that will be appearing, showcasing the artwork? Okay. So, um, we have, so what I am doing is promoting um, the narrative of new and fresh and upcoming artists. Um, as well as those artists that have been in the game for a minute. So we have one special artist, A Ate, which is actually uh, very special to me. Um, that is actually my son. He's an artist. And so um, he will be there as well as uh, Trap Picasso. Now, keep in mind that these are artists that are from different areas um, around the surrounding area of of Birmingham. And so I have Trap Picasso, which is actually from Montgomery. Um, also have a, a recent UAB graduate um, uh, that is her her um, medium of art is graphic design. Um, Dentasia is her name. Also have um, executive art coming through. Um, Several may have heard of um, who Executive Art is. Um, they actually have a lot of art display in house in um, Bazaar Coffee Bar, as well as Spaces, and I think also uh, the W Lounge in Woodland. So we have them. We also have a um, 
another recent graduate um, of, from UAB, Jeremy Martin. He's actually um, well known in, in the Birmingham area, um, has done several events and won several awards with Sloss Furnace and um, other art expos around the area that he go out and, you know, um, sell his art, in, you know, during those events. Um, we also have Mooney Art. Um, she is new and upcoming. I also have um, Liddell. Liddell is from Montgomery, um, very heavy into uh, educating um, young children about art. Um, and so, yeah, and also another fun fact. So the event is gonna be held at Polaris, uh, actually, the guys, um, Art Takes Two, they done the art in that building and they will also be present as well. Okay. So one thing I liked about your flyer was you had this thing saying confluence versus influence. What's the difference? Okay. <laughs> um, so I've had a couple of people to ask me that question actually. Um, so I'm just going to state my opinion. So my opinion of Cofluence is when you can get a group of individuals, um, they can have, you know, commonalities. They can also, you know, talk about their differences as well. But I feel like at the end of the day, it's about how we can come together as a community and mm -hmm. create different ways and ideas on how to be impactful. So that my opinion of confluency um, versus influence. So we can be influenced by so many different things around us. Um, however, speaking from a business perspective, someone who is trying to tap into the art community, I just want everyone to also understand that there are so many powerful connections that can be made through art. Um, mm -hmm. So. That's my opinion on confluence versus influence. Okay. So where people go um, for tickets and for more information? Okay, so you can go on Eventbrite and purchase tickets. Um, you can definitely search art, Arts and Cocktails. I'm sure it'll pop up and purchase tickets there. You may also purchase tickets at the door of the event. Um, I will be taking um, debit, um, so I won't be doing any cash at all. Um, and I think I think that's the same thing about the bar as well. So yes, the bar will be a cashless bar. Um, there won't be any cash exchange, but we get we want you all to come out and just have a great time. You know, to be able to see the art. To there will also be poetry there as okay. well is a fashion designer will be um, have an exhibit there as well as other artists from other schools to be able to promote what they're doing. Yes, yeah, so this would definitely be an, an opportunity to be exposed to all the elements of art, whether um, you enjoy visual art, mm -hmm. fashion, spoken word, um, like I said, a signature cocktail, like it's all art at the, the end of the day. Okay, well, ladies, thank you all for coming on today. Congratulations. I'm definitely, you will see my face. I promise I will come out from the Zoom and, um, and be, be at the event on the 1st. And it's a great way to kick off the 4th of July holiday weekend. I Absolutely. Know, when, when, is, when is the 1st? Is it on uh, Saturday? Oh, yeah, on Saturday. Oh, yeah. People going to be partying from Saturday. On, they ain't going back to work on Wednesday. This year. <laughs> now, you don't have to yeah, take off. Yeah, because Monday is yeah, the third, and of course the fourth is a Tuesday. So, yeah, they definitely, yeah. So, you all so, definitely, huh? I was about to say, so make sure you come and get your your uh, Fourth of July weekend popping at the Arts and Cocktails event, definitely. <laughs> you want to wear your Fourth of July outfit. You know, you got, you got the Tuesday to wash it. And it'd it, it be fresh again if I was let that go. So um, thank you, ladies, for coming on today. You all, please check out the event on the first at Polaris. 
Thank you all for watching. Please check out What's Happening in Birmingham for more interviews. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube and the audio version of this interview is on Apple Podcasts. Thank you all again. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you, Darvis. Thank you. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website app or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.